The Saturn Awards celebrated its 50th anniversary this week, highlighting genre fiction old and new, with actor Joel McHale hosting the event. Presented by the Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror, the show outlined a night full of history, dating back to 1972, while showcasing the fantastic entertainment of the past year. Better Call Saul went into the event strong, with seven nominations, more than any other series, with The Walking Dead and Superman and Lois each garnering six nominations. Better Call Saul brought in wins for all it was nominated for, such as the award for Best Action Thriller TV Series, where it bested other popular shows like Big Sky, The Blacklist, Dark Winds, Dexter New Blood, Outlander, and Yellow Jackets. The full ensemble cast of Better Call Saul was also bestowed with a special Robert Forster Artist Award. Forster had appeared in the series in Season 5, though he passed away in 2019. Series stars Bob Odenkirk and Ray Seahorn also respectively won awards for Best Actor and Best Actress. The only other network show to score multiple honors was The Walking Dead, which won in the horror category while earning recognition for Lauren Cohen as a supporting actress. In the film section, Everything Everywhere All at Once won Best Fantasy Film, and individual honors for Michelle Yeoh and Kei Hui Kwan, and the home release won Best 4K Special Edition Film Release. The big film of the year, Top Gun Maverick, also scored a handful of rewards, as did Guillermo del Toro's Nightmare Alley. One of the big stories to come from the night was the victory of SS Rajamuli's RRR in the international film category, beating out Downton Abbey, A New Era, and Eiffel, among others. The film is in the middle of a campaign to earn recognition at the Oscars after it was snubbed for India's Best International Feature Submission. On the streaming side of things, Obi-Wan Kenobi came away with Best Limited Event Series, while also giving Hayden Christensen and Moses Ingram wins. It was a big showing for Disney overall as Moon Knight, Ms. Marvel, Loki, and Book of Boba Fett also received individual honors, while The Boys, Stranger Things, Umbrella Academy, and newcomers Star Trek Strange New Worlds rounded out the list. Three different Star Trek shows went into the evening with a total of six nominations across five categories. The first season of Star Trek Strange New Worlds won for Best Streaming Science Fiction Series, beating Star Trek Discovery, along with The Expanse, For All Mankind, Lost in Space, The Mandalorian, and The Orville New Horizons. Strange New Worlds is the third show in the franchise to win a Best Series Saturn Award, joining The Next Generation and Discovery. Winning the Saturn Award is the second major accolade for the freshman season of Strange New Worlds after being honored with the Legacy Award by the Hollywood Critics Association over the summer. And, in a Star Trek coincidence, the award for Best Streaming Science Fiction Show was presented to Strange New Worlds by Lower Decks voice actor Jerry O'Connell and Next Generation's Denise Crosby. Star Trek Lower Decks was also nominated for a Saturn for Best Animated Series, but only it lost out to Star Wars The Bad Batch. Star Wars had a huge night bringing home a total of five wins during this year's Saturn Awards. Obi-Wan Kenobi won three of those, including Best Limited Event Streaming Series. The Bad Batch pulled off an upset, winning Best Animated Television Series. And Ming-Na Wen took the stage to accept her Best Actress nod for her role as Fennec Shand in The Book of Boba Fett. The other two Obi-Wan Kenobi wins went to Moses Ingram and Hayden Christensen for Best Supporting Actress and Best Guest Starring Performance, respectively. Ewan McGregor's reprisal of the Jedi Master was bested by Oscar Isaac's nuanced Moon Knight role for Best Actor in a Streaming Series. A few special honors were given out during the night, with genre fiction veteran Catherine Lee Scott taking home a Life Career Award, Julie Pleck, known as the mind behind the CW's The Vampire Diaries and the recently released Vampire Academy, was also given the Dan Curtis Legacy Award. Also recognized was Amber Midthunder for her stunning breakout turn in the Predator prequel Prey, as well as Jeff Johns, who earned this year's Producer Showcase Award for his years of work around DC projects, including Stargirl, Titans, Superman and Lois, and Doom Patrol, among others. A pair of Johns shows also earned honors, with Stargirl's Breck Bassinger getting a win and Superman and Lois winning Best Science Fiction Television Series. The ceremony also featured a touching tribute to the late Star Trek legend Nichelle Nichols, introduced by Star Trek movies writer and director Nicholas Meyer. It included video from the International Space Station and NASA astronaut Jessica Watkins. Star Trek's original Captain Kirk, William Shatner, beamed in via video to congratulate and thank the Saturn Awards, while also recalling his infamous rendition of Rocket Man, performed at the Saturn Awards in 1978. Following is the full list of award winners.